Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to stake your Tezos token directly on your Ledger Nano device using Ledger Live. So let's get started. All right, so Ledger has just announced that they have a Tezos staking available using their platform. So staking is where you're storing your cryptocurrency in your wallets in such a way that they're earning rewards. And what better way for a hodler to earn passive income by staking the cryptocurrency that they're holding and allowing it to earn rewards. So let's take a look at this new feature. So I just launched my Ledger Live and it's telling me that there is an update available. So uh, when you see this blue band up here at the top of your portfolio, you want to go ahead and hit install now and the updater will run. All right, and go ahead and log back in. All right, and then they've got some terms of use that you need to go over. All right, and once you've read those carefully, you're going to go ahead and tick this off and hit confirm. All right, and here they're announcing the new features. So they're going to allow you to manage Tezos directly in Ledger Live and uh, stake it. And then they also have this new send flow for sending and receiving, which I'll probably cover in another video. So I'll leave a link to this page so that you can uh, read through all the details of how staking works and how rewards work and how all that goes. All right, so in order to get a Tezos account set up, the first thing you'll want to do is head over to the manager. And you should have your ledger connected and the pin entered. And you'll see this little alert on here to allow the ledger manager. So in order to do that, you'll just hit both buttons. All right, and once you do that, you'll be at the home screen of the ledger. All right, and you'll want to add the Tezos app. So just hit... Uh, the search bar here and you can uh, type in Tezos and there it is. We'll go ahead and install that. Now we can go back over to accounts and we'll choose add account and we're going to choose Tezos. We can start to type it in here. We'll hit that. We'll hit continue. And then we need to be inside the Tezos app. So I have it selected on my home screen. I'm just going to hit both buttons and enter the Tezos app. Let it synchronize and it's going to create an empty Tezos wallet for me. Now you can name this anything you want. So I'm just going to remove that one in front. Just make it my uh, default Tezos wallet. I'll hit add account and there we go. Now I can hit close and so I have an empty Tezos account. Now all I, all I need to do is uh, deposit some Tezos into this wallet. All right, and so basically we're just going to deposit some Tezos into our wallet from an exchange or if you have Tezos in a different wallet. So we're going to go here to the Tezos account and hit receive. And then we'll hit continue. And it wants us to open the Tezos wallet. All right, and we'll just hit continue. And then we're going to hit continue one more time. And then it's asking us to provide the public key. So there's a little arrow here. That means press this uh, metal button, advance it over. There's the public key. And we just want to confirm that that's the same public key address that we see on our screen, on our computer screen. This is a fail safe. And we can advance one more. And we don't want to reject it if, as long as they match. Uh, we want to advance one more to accept and then we can hit both buttons and there we go. Now we've uh, confirmed that address is correct and now we'll use that as our transfer address, our deposit address. So I'm going to hit copy here. All right, and then I'm just going to go over here to Binance. Uh, Binance sells Tezos. So I'm going to buy a little Tezos on Binance. You can also uh, get Tezos on Coinbase if you want and uh, you can also get it in your Coinbase Pro account if you want Tezos. So there's a lot of exchanges where you can buy Tezos. So I'm just gonna go to my trading window here for Tezos. I'm gonna use BNB because I've got some BNB in my account. I'm going to go down here to market and I'm going to choose to uh, use all of my BNB and hit buy. 
All right, I'll shave that down to about 34. I'll hit buy. And there my market order got created, right? Sometimes, sometimes you can't use the full amount. All right, so then I can just uh, go back over here. All right, check my balance and see that uh, I've got some Tezos here. About 50 bucks worth of Tezos, right? Uh, now, of course, you might want to stake more. It's entirely up to you how much you want to stake. So now I'm going to withdraw. Now, withdraw means I just put in the address. That's the address I got from my ledger live, right? That's my Tezos address, my personal Tezos wallet address. I'm just going to send it all by clicking this yellow uh, indicator over here. That auto fills the total amount, and I'll hit submit. Right, and then I'm going to need my two-factor authentication. All right, it's going to send me a confirmation email. When I get that confirmation email, I'll just hit confirm withdrawal. All right, and then I just need to wait for the Tezos to appear in my ledger wallet. All right, so the Tezos came in. So it's actually pretty simple. Now that there's Tezos in my wallet, they're giving me this button here that allows me to earn rewards. And then you can find out more about how delegation works over here. So I'm just going to click this Earn Rewards button. And this is nice. You can withdraw anytime, right? And the uh, Tezos is actually going to be in your wallet the entire time. So I can't think of a better, safer, more secure way to stake your tokens than from within your very own wallet, right? You don't have to put them on an exchange or anything weird like that. You can just delegate them right here within your own wallet. So I'll go ahead and hit delegate. All right, so I need to choose a validator. And now this is completely up to you guys. I would uh, do your research. I guess they put the highest rate there at the top. So it's entirely up to you which one you uh, do your research and decide which one you trust the most. Kind of try to get a balance between the one, you know, whether it's a good, solid exchange and how high the rate is, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to choose stake now. I checked out their website. They seem okay. They're paying the highest rate right now. But I would definitely, you know, spend some of your own time doing some research. Decide which one you want to use because there's a lot of considerations. Uh, you want to consider stuff like uh, how their uptime, how long they've been around, their fees, uh, the rewards, the stake size. A lot of things to think about, but uh, I'm just going to show you the simplest way to do it. Hit this one here. Right? I've selected stake now, and then now it's ready to continue. I'll hit continue. I need to uh, hit this. There's going to be a small network fee. All right, so let's look at our device. Here we go. Uh, we should use this little arrow as an indicator that we need to hit the, the button here on this side. There's our fee. There's our uh, address or our source address. There's our delegation address. We'll just double check that and make sure it's the same one we see on the screen. Hit that. There's our uh, stake now, our, our title. There's uh, the storage limit. And then we'll hit accept. Alrighty. So it's going to take a little while to earn our first rewards. So um, I didn't get a choice as to how much I wanted to stake, or maybe I missed it. But uh, my assumption here is that you can create multiple accounts. And so you can put however much you want to stake in each of your accounts. So I could create another Tezos account, right? I can just go back to accounts and create another Tezos account and store more Tezos in that other account, right? I can create multiple accounts. All right, so uh, it sees the one I already have. And I can just call this one Tezos2 or whatever I want to call it. And so now I have another Tezos account where I can drop more Tezos. So uh, my assumption here is whatever you want to stake, put it all in the account and then uh, do this staking process and all of the Tezos in that account will become staked. All right. And like I said, they, they said you could uh, withdraw it at any time. 
see we've got this uh, th uh, three dots over here we can uh, receive more we can change the validator we can end the delegation really simple all right so uh, that's it that's how you stake your Tezos for earning rewards if there's any questions about anything I did please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered don't forget I have a live stream every Friday night Eastern Standard Time please join me for my live Q&A from Michigan where you can throw out questions and I'll do my best to get them answered right there on the fly hope to see you there if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe to my channel I would appreciate it when you subscribe there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content once again thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon